The new year means new segments, and this is one coming to the Coaster Poster channel. This is my new Coaster News segment. I'll be doing these every so often when I feel there's something out in the coaster world that is uh, interesting. So, anyways, let's hop right in. This is just an overview slide. I won't be spending much time here, so you can pause and look at it if you want. But I'm hopping into the new world's tallest coaster. This is not necessarily a current news, but... Interestingly enough, its location has yet to be announced. We do know that it's going somewhere in Florida. I'd expect around the major city, Miami, Tampa, or, or Orlando. It is said to be a 525 feet tall, I believe, and built by SNS Worldwide. Very awesome. Now, staying in the same state, moving on to Diagon Alley down in Universal Orlando. And as you can see by the construction, it is starting to take place, or uh, take shape from the concept art. Definitely getting to looking very nice, getting ready for this summer. And an interesting announcement was the Leaky Cauldron. This is going to be a restaurant featured here. It is going to have a very good theming to feel like you are actually in the movie. Universal has gone all out and spared no expense making sure that this is to exact detail. Now, the major attraction of this new Diagon Alley would be the Gringotts Bank Coaster. Yes, we don't know much about it. I will be releasing another video about it. This is just a concept art of the trains. And interestingly enough, this is a picture right here of what we believe is a train being loaded onto the track or being well, sent into the building. The actual Hogwarts Express is on the track, if you didn't know that already. That's not really that current. But moving on to Las Vegas and the Adventure Dome, the El Loco has finished track construction. Yes, this thing is about ready to start rocking and rumbling, as we should expect to be seeing trains on the track and this thing testing very shortly. This is a picture of the train from IAPA. So now moving on to the Mitch Hawker 2013 Wood Coaster Poll. I've already submitted my ballot and you can too. If you haven't already, you can go to Theme Park Review or Screamscape or the, I think you can just look it up. But El Toro won last year. It's probably going to win this year. But very good wood coaster, so that's good. That's it. You can do that if you want to. I recommend you do it. It's very cool. Now moving on to Karnin. This is a hyper coaster coming to Hansa Park out in Germany. Now I'm not going to be releasing a video so I'll just spiel what I know. Um, it is believed to be 196 feet tall, rumored to be manufactured by Gerstlauer. That's what the concept art definitely looks like. This will definitely be Gerstlauer's tallest and fastest coaster for sure. But it's good to see that if it is by Gerstlauer it will be they will be stepping up into the game of hyper coasters. I mean, who doesn't love a good hyper coaster? Now, the name, obviously there, Karnin. I believe I pronounced that right. Now, moving on to China for their new B&M flyer. I cannot pronounce the name of where it is going. It is too long. It starts the next. But as you can kind of see, there's I can see two inversions as of now. A big pretzel loop. And there's actually a barrel roll hidden in the back if you look hard enough. Well, this looks like pretty much a big Manta and Superman Ultimate Flight collision, but still definitely going to be a very excellent ride. The Chinese people have something to get excited about. So anyways, what did you think? I got most of this news uh, from Screamscape, so feel free to check them out. I check them out every day. Definitely very awesome place. So keep calm and ride coasters.